Hey, good morning, everyone. We'll call the development committee meeting of September 20th to order. Roll call, please. Member Krajewski? Here. Member Covert? Member Garcia? Here. Member Ozak? Here. Member Rutledge? Here. Chair Tornatori? Here. And we have a quorum. Real quick kind of remarks. There was some discussion about our clean and lean fund and um, we've gone through a lot of the money that we had received from the Illinois Housing Development Authority to jumpstart this a few years back. Uh, at a, I had a board meeting last week. I did bring it up to uh, the executive director there, and they're going to be working with Paul to see if we can reapply and get some more money from uh, the Housing Authority to help us continue the program. The program's still gonna continue, but as you know, when we lean the property, it takes a while to collect the money. So there's a little bit of a gap between, or otherwise known as a cash flow problem, but hopefully we can alleviate that. Um, moving on to public comment. Public comments limited to three minutes per person. Uh, any comment on zoning items are limited to discussion of testimony or evidence presented at the Zoning Board of Appeals. No new testimony. Is presented. We have one person here this morning uh, on the Argus matter. Um, whoever that person Hello. is. Yes, Hi. Um, more so a comment. I have just a question. Um, I had read over the document that was sent to email um, for a denial for the zoning petition. So my question was more so um, since it's not able to be placed in the area that we had originally intended. I know they said it had to be strictly behind the house. Mm -hmm. And so since our well is kind of located towards the center and we have a dog running around, we were wondering if technically this area would be considered um, part of our backyard. Okay, well, we, we can't answer that question here this morning. That's a, an issue that I think is more appropriately brought for um, in the public hearing. Um, and perhaps I don't know, Paul, if you even want to attempt to address that question. I'd like if I could talk with Ms. Vargas right now. Okay, yeah, that's number four on the agenda. So if you want to go ahead and do that. Okay, we'll move on to, and that concludes the public comment. Move on to approval of the minutes. I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes of September 6th. Second. Any additions, corrections, or deletions? Hearing none, seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Any opposed, the minutes are approved. Moving we end the regulatory? Uh, move on DCR 388-22, a resolution to re revise the personnel headcount of building and zoning, oh. FY22. Okay. Motion to second. Um, I am going to ask for an amendment, however, to the um, actual resolution, the body of the resolution. Uh, I call it a scrivener's error, for lack of a better word. The resolution indicates it's a personnel budget for the circuit court and probation offices. Um, it is not. It is for the building and zoning department. So um, with uh, do I have an, uh, a motion to amend the body of the resolution? Second. A motion is second. All in favor of the amendment? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And then we'll move on to the uh, original resolution as amended. Uh, we have a motion and a second motion. Is there a second? Second. Uh, any questions, comments, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed to the motion carries. I'll entertain a motion to approve DC 049-22 or an zoning 2211. Moose's subdivision. This is a request to reconsider the development committee's motion, failed motion to approve relative to uh, rezoning from R1 to R2. Three proposed lots. Uh, zoning board appeals did vote to deny this 6-0. But we do, I'd like a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Second. Motion of second. Uh, questions, comments, Paul? Mm -hmm. you want first to comment? Mm -hmm. well, briefly, that uh, this was uh, denied in development, recommended for denying the development committee. The petitioner heard the development committee's concerns. They submit a revised site plan that shows all of the lots will be 40,000 square feet or greater. So they've, they've removed their variation from the lot size requirement. The only thing before you is a rezoning from R1 to R2. We have a revised site plan and the petitioner is asking that you reconsider his petition uh, for rezoning only. The lots will meet the minimum lots uh, uh, footage requirement. Most of the properties in the 
Burridge area around this property is are all 30,000 square foot lots. So these lots will be consistent with what's happening in the Burridge area. So is this denial of the CBA? Is this for the revised site plan or was it? It is not. It has not gone back to the CBA. Uh, historically, uh, if uh, this petitioner is not asking for any more zoning relief than what was published, she's act actually asking for less, less. So it does not have to go back to the Zoning Board of Appeals if you don't want it to go back to the CBA. Okay, that was my question why it didn't go back to this one. Okay. So, uh, okay. Any questions of Paul? Okay. Um, so there's a motion to approve based on the revised site plan. Um, so second, uh, no comments, no questions. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed, the motion carries. I'll entertain a motion to approve DCO 50-22 ordinance zoning 20 to 35. Johnson the zoning hearing officer's recommendation to approve a variation to allow a closed privacy fence within Ooh. a 10-foot corner site. So okay. so motion and there was a second. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. And so, uh, any questions, comments? Hearing none, seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed, the motion carries. I'll entertain a motion to approve the UC. Oh, 51 22 ordinance zoning 2236. Colin Opska, zoning hearing officer's recommendation to deny a variation to allow an existing detached accessory shed to remain within a principal building. A motion to approve. Second. Oh, the motion and a second to approve. Again, this is the ZHO's recommendation to deny if you're inclined to uh, be consistent with the ZHO recommendation, you would vote no. Any questions? Sure. Yeah. Yes. So the uh, ZBO said that this petitioner had not demonstrated a hardship, yet they suggested that they could go ahead and tear this shed down and maintain the property by hiring a lawn service. And I'm looking through the records. I think there was a second thing. And I think that in itself creates the hardship for this petitioner. Um, they provided pictures that it's well-maintained. Uh, and that they want that shed to be able to keep the equipment needed to maintain that property. So um, I just don't see any reason why they should make them tear that shed down. That's my opinion. I don't think there's any reason for my wife to ask me to uh, cut the lawn. That was a hardship too. Right. That's, that's what I mean, I guess. Paul, okay. well, I have a good question for you. I, 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 I don't believe, I think that's how the code states that, that there is not to be any accessory building when there is no principal building on the lot. Is that correct? Yes. So basically this is this is not compliant with our code. Yes, that's correct. It's not our fault. Okay, thank you. They just want to put a shed up. There's an no, existing no, shed there. There's an, already there, well. There's okay. an existing shed. It was part of a house that was a clean and lean house. It was in bad shape. Uh, we took action against the property owner. They eventually tore the house down and they were supposed to take the shed down, but the shed remains. Um, yeah, one of the concerns of uh, why we have the code is just that oftentimes these sheds are used for things other than domestic purposes. And there's really no domestic purpose going on here. We have situations where people use these sheds for storage uh, buildings for other uses someplace else, uh, not on the property. So that's the reason the code is the way it is. Okay, there's the most, I'm sorry. It's so if it was a clean lean, they knocked the house down. If they rebuild the house, is the shed now in compliance? If they were to rebuild the house, then the shed would be allowed to stay. That's correct. With yeah. the appropriate permits. With the appropriate permits, correct. Yeah, yeah. Well, absolutely. You wouldn't have to get the shed. I mean, if they built a new house, would you have to well, get the, a permit for a shed that's already there? The shed already has a permit, right. but it was supposed to be taken down oh, as part of a clean and lean. If so they would we build a new house? If they build a new house, would we make them tear down the shed no. and get a new we'll permit? Build it again. No, no. no. If, they, if they came in, if they came in for a building permit to build a house, the shed would be allowed to stay with no permit the required because they already have one. Okay, got it. Yes, number one. Thank you. Um, so, can they could they apply for a conditional use to keep that shed, depending on or or because of the situation with the property? I just, I guess I think that that's part of the problem with our zoning regulations is that we assume that people can hire a lawn service or uh, I, I just think that that's, that creates a hardship in itself, in my opinion. Bottom line is it's a shed on a property without building that. 
Okay. Any other questions, comments? I assume we'll want to roll call on this one. Member Krajewski. Hi. Member Garcia. No, no, it's just so for the record, yeah, this is a denial. Now, this is the zoning hearing officers cool. denied this. Our motion is to approve it. And I said aye. Okay. No. The, I'm sorry. The, the motion is to motion agree is to, with motion, the zoning. The motion yeah. is to approve the petition. I got you. Okay. So an I would be contrary to the zoning hearing officer's recommendation. Thank you. Member Rutledge? Aye. Member Ozark? Aye. Chair Tony Clark? No. Garcia, she oh. voted no. You're not. Okay. So three, three to two. two. Okay. So the relief is granted. I want to take a motion to approve DCO 52 22, Ordinance Zoning 2245. A zoning hearing officer's recommendation to approve a conditional use to increase the maximum detached accessory building cumulative area from 850 square feet to 1,049 square feet. A motion to oh. approve. Second. Motion and a second. Any questions, comments? Mm -hmm. okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Okay. I have been told. That Fargus would like to withdraw DCO 53-22. So if we were the body, we will withdraw item F on the agenda. We had an item G. I want to a motion to approve DCO 54-22, Ordinance Zoning 2244, Lancelotti, a zoning hearing officer's recommendation to approve a variation to allow a five-foot fence within the 10-foot corner site here. So moved. Second. Questions, comments? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? The motion carries. Any old business? New business. Hearing not seeing none without objection, we're adjourned. Thank you.